Everyday Nerdy here, and then today we'll be working on Captain Falcon's helmet. We're going to be frapping up on the Falcon part of the helmet. So to do this, we're going to thicken the surface that we had in the previous video. And we use very similar tactics where we thicken something, draw a sketch, and then split the body with it. You'll see. So here we have, we're thickening the first body, and now we're going to be thickening the second body. So you can think into what you prefer. I do this based on the visualness and maybe if you see like the whole process, you can be like, oh, now I know kind of like what I'd want to do for the thickening. So now that that's done, we're gonna create a sketch and first I'll be starting off with uh, the wings. So I'm gonna do an arc for the inner and outer parts and then I'm gonna create a line to do the top part of the wing and I'm gonna do my favorite tool. Uh, we're going to mirror it because life is easier when you do less. So, and once I have it mirrored, we're gonna split the body that we just made for the thickening. And make sure you gotta click both sides when you do this. And you're gonna see that looks like the wings. Once you hide the body and the rest of the body, that looks nice. But you see, you have like the growing back part of it. So to solve this is you're gonna draw a line. And once you draw a line, you're gonna split body again so you can make sure you only have the front wing part and not the rest of the funky business in the back. So, and once you do that, you're like, oh, well, that, that thing is really thick back there. Well, okay, all we gotta do is thicken a body, as you can see, and then kind of adjust the numbers to what we would want because this body that we just created will cut the, the current wing, which you can cut by combining. So once you do that, you'll see how thin the wing is. So now the next step is to do the falcon. So this stuff got pretty, well, we're not even at the tedious part, to be honest. So for the falcon, you just draw a sketch and you can just do straight lines and then do arcs for the curve. That's kind of what I did. And at the end, you can try doing some fillets at the end. I, um, I think when I try to do fillets, I ran into issues for certain things for split potting, so I tried to avoid those. But for these curves on the, the bottom feather feet, as I just did an arc, and after the arc, I did a line. And yeah, it looks kind of, you can, when you cut it, you can kind of see like a little bump in it. But I do something at the end, so you don't really see the bump that much. So this is just, you know, rinse and repeat. There's not much mirroring you can do for the falcon, so. It's not like the wings where it's the same on both sides, which kind of, you know, is a down. Well, actually, no, I forgot. I mirrored the feet, feet feather things, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, you just continue with the sketch. We're just doing the outline here. We're not doing any interior designing for the falcon. So, like, usually all the curved parts, like I said, I'll do an arc and things like that to make it look nice. Now, since it's, the sketch is done, we're going to be doing the split body. So now that we have a split body, and you just, you know, make the rest invisible. And I think the one part I forgot to do was the back, which you can't see right now. But so this has the same issue as the previous one, but we don't have to do the combined feature for this. We can just draw a line that is somewhat still following the, following the wings. Because if you can see the line, it's not past the wings. It's still slightly behind, if that's making any sense. I'll see if I can draw some lines to show that. Because if you draw it past it, then the falcon won't be touching the wing. You'll be cutting too much. So you got to make sure you're cutting just enough in between them. And you make the body invisible. And then, boom! So I'm combining them right now, which you don't need to do. <laughs> because we're going to undo that step after we move it. So this moving it, it's not straight. So I'm gonna go retouch a face and try to have it straight. And then I'm gonna move it slightly and yes, right there. And then voila, we got our basic layout. So this is where it gets real, real tedious. Well, no, but I guess the Falcon's the easiest one. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be drawing lines for all of these inner designs. So like I did an arc for the beak, you know, you draw the lines for the hair here, and then you draw an arc for the belly, the belly that's right there, and then you're gonna draw lines for the eye. So you gotta draw first the outline of the shape of the eye, which I use the spline tool to do that. 
And then once I did that, I drew a line for that inner, I guess for like where you see like my eyes are like black, brown, whatever. You draw like that line for that part of the eye and you have that curved part for the, I, I'm not good with this type of stuff, but the curved part for like the reflection of the eye or whatever. And then after all these things, you're going to use a split body for every single one. So we split the belly. Cool. Now, after we split the belly, we got to split the little hair neck design. After we split that, I'm most likely going to be splitting the beak, splitting the beak. Okay. So what's the next one that we're going to be splitting? The, the eye. Oh no. The eye. Yeah. You have to split the eye. Yeah. The eye has to be split. And then now this is the part where I say, Remember I said it's going to look funky, the little feet feathers? So what I did to adjust it is I do a fillet. You got to be very careful with the fillet because if you go a little bit overboard, you immediately get those errors because it's too much. Because you can see one of them, they're like almost already touching. And now I want to add a little pizzazz. So what I did here was I took the top face and I angled it slightly with a move tool. And I'm going to also do a fillet for the beak. So. These are all things that I, you know, I just wanted to put a little edge on it. So, and the next thing, the same way I angled the top head, I'm going to angle the belly. And after I angled the belly, you know, I was like, hmm, he looks really sharp. So I was like, you know what, Let me, I'm going I'm to fill it. Things look better with the fillet. I don't know why sometimes. It's like a chamfer tool. So you, you got to be very careful because sometimes you get the errors. So now for the eye, I want that indented look that eyes have. So I'm going to push it down because it's a body. Remember, all these things are all in now separate bodies. We split every piece. So, and after that, I was like, okay, cool. Now I got to split this body, <laughs> but the, the eye part, and then split each one individually. So we're going to do first that outer eye thing, and we're going to push that in a bit. So you're going to push that in. And then the next one, which is like the arc one that we did, we're going to push that one out. Because I thought it would look good. It would have, uh, what's the word? Oh, not engraved. Maybe it was engraved or embossed. But like that puff look inside the eye. So I thought instead of having a very flat two-dimensional look, I thought that would be nice. So that's how the eye got done. Now when you finish all this, look, look how nice it looks. You can join all the bodies. <laughs> Once you... Because <laughs> we got all these, these bodies here that are just hanging out. Because everything got split into a different body. So this might be a more tedious process, but this is the only way I could think of to do the falcon. So, and he was the easier one. So now we have the wings, which we're going to go to, it's going to be, how would I say, a similar process, but not exactly the same. So you're going to be drawing a sketch, but we only need to draw half of it because we can mirror the wings. So we're going to do an arc for the curve and we're going to draw a line for the, like, these are like the inner designs. I looked at a lot of Captain Falcons. Now, so the one issue I did with this line that I just did is I needed to do the line past the wing, which I didn't do, but I'll be fixing that shortly. And you got to do an arc for the bottom because we're going to have like, not an outline of the wing, but like a, how you have the wings and the feathers and you got like the little feathers on the side. So that's why I just drew a line to be the little feather, like how wings, how wings go like, wings do that. And so instead of seeing me draw all these lines over and over, I just skipped to it. So that was just a bunch of lines. There was no magic trick for that other than editing. So, and then once all that's done, we're going to split face, not body, split face. So I extended the line to at the top because that needed to be done so I could split face correctly. And then I'm going to split face for the other line. All these will have to get split face. But then I realized halfway through, I was like, Oh my God, I forgot to do one of my favorite things, chamfer, which you'll see me going back to do chamfer. But once you split face, you want to do the piping because the piping gives it that nice engraved look. So, but then when you do the piping, you're going to see that the end looks a bit weird, but you'll see me fix that shortly. But yeah, don't worry that we're only doing half because like I said, once you finish this, you can mirror it. But just keep in mind when you mirror this whole entire thing, it took like five minutes on my machine. So, you know, I edit out the five minute wait. So this is where I realized I need a chamfer. So I go back, I use the, the timeline tool and just keep going back, back, back. And then I'm going to click 
the edges of the of the wing and you got to click all the edges which i will fix and see i clicked all the edges and then push it in a little bit but not too much and you're gonna get that nice little you know looks elegant looks a little, little pizzazz so then once you have that i'm gonna fix my timeline tool because now i have to because when you chamfered you added faces on the side on the edge so you need to redo the splitting of the face when you do the chamfer tool so you can get the new face that you just split with the splitting face tool so we're going back to the piping you gotta pipe it and then once you because you gotta add to the new pipe because since you since you split face you added a new area now the next thing like i talked about that weird thing right there so i just extruded and i just extruded it straight so the piping actually goes through the whole thing so it looks nicer and that's gonna have to get done for all these little feather lines i'm adjusting them because once i chamfered it brought in closer and i realized it was really far from the curve and i wanted them to be in closer so now here is where i'm going to split face the lines and what i did for this one i'm going to rinse and repeat and do for all the other lines so for these parts, I'm not sure if you guys actually wanted to see me do them. So this one I did like actually a quick time lapse of it. It's like sped up by like 600, but I'm not sure if you prefer this or just like me clap and then you see them all done because it's really repeating itself over and over. I don't think I needed to add this many feathers to the wing, but I, I don't know. It looked nice to me. So that's why I added that many. And then this can be the last one that I just do split face you just gotta remember to include the chamfer part when you're splitting face because if not it's not going to go the whole way and then now for the piping tool i wanted you to see this because so for the piping tool there's no way to really select a start and when i do it this way now if i select the line that's closer to the inner part of the wing i can't i can't push the pipe away from the inner part in order to do that i have to start from the edge of the outer part and go closer to the inner pipe and then I can adjust it there I don't know of a way for for piping for you to change the start and end so if you guys know of a way let me know I tried looking it up and the internet really didn't give me any information they just said it no they said no so and here you can see we're having also the same weird thing where we have to also extrude every single thing on the edge of the chamfer so that's also what we'll be doing unless you like having that look. I, I personally don't. So we're gonna go here and extrude one by one by one by one. See, it's moments like these where you're like, oh, I am so glad for this mirroring tool because we only gotta do one side. I did try doing this with, um, shoot, when you do um, edits, when you do a follow by pattern, like that pattern tool and it didn't, even when I did pattern and I said follow the pattern and it has to match how the pattern is, it still, it looked weird. I mean, if someone can find a way to do it, that'd be great because that's a good cheat code, but I had to do it all manually. So here's the mirroring. And the one thing with the mirroring is you just want to click, I do mirror by feature and I click all of them and you have to make sure that you change the compute option. You have to change it as identical because if not, it doesn't work well. I mean, you can see, people like to know, but yeah, I don't, I don't know the reason. I don't, I don't know the reason exactly because I just Google things and try to figure it out. So, but there, and that you have your little Falcon and he looks so good, doesn't he? I was shocked. Actually, I was like, wow, I actually like how he looks a lot. <laughs> he was a bit frustrating because some details I had to give up what I wanted. But in the end, you just gotta combine all the bodies. And when I was trying to combine all the bodies, I realized that the top part doesn't touch the neck part. Only way to get them to touch is if we combine it with the wings. So, which is what you have to do either way. And then now, all you gotta do is go forward to the timeline and then just push it. And I realized I pushed it a little bit too much, so I just pushed it out of back a bit. And that's it yeah this was a long video it was actually like 30 40 minutes and i had to do a lot of editing just let me know ideas if it's better to have a quick scene of me doing something over and over just a quick time lapse or just like i did it once magic 
and have him swallow them. Because that would really make these videos shorter. I did do it for one, so. I mean, we'll see. But, hope you guys enjoy this. Yes, I'm still trying to print some of these stuff. I'm having some technical difficulties. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'll get to it, I promise. Until next time. Bye, guys.